What's going on guys? It's your boy Not Enough. We are going to go over the Big Power Electric model Big 505. Let's get into it. First, I want to start by saying big thank you for bearing with me. Obviously, I'm outside of my normal working space. I'm at my girlfriend's house, Miss Not Enough HQ. We suffered a huge direct hit from Hurricane Ian here down in Southwest Florida. We've been dealing with the slow recovery of infrastructure, power systems, internet, all that good stuff. This company, Big Power Electric, asked me if I was willing to review some of their products. I told them, sure, no problem. And they went ahead and sent me four blasters. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what we get in the box. All right, guys, so there's a lot to unpack here pun totally intended you get three collapsible targets manual reset they send you batteries i have to admit this is something i have not seen a company do before they're not alkalines they're heavy duties and they're not top quality batteries but at least you get to try your blaster out right out of the box which is an experience that we can't say we get every single time with every single blaster that's not a springer darts a lot of aftermarket non-mainstream brand blasters the darts are usually subpar we're gonna try these out as far as an indoor plinking scenario we'll get to test them out see if they're at least decent looks like some radical cool red tinted eye pro here with a elastic sling that you're able to fit no matter what the size of your dome is that's always cool you get a scope which seems to be of pretty rudimentary style now they're employing the same kind of technique that dart zone employs at least on their max striker that i can see the reticle is created by either an impression or a cavity on this outer plastic piece that gives the impression of a crosshair when you're looking through it a pamphlet telling you what you can expect coming out of the factory for this company looks like they're going to be firing the same kind of domed three-quarter length darts as we get in the package today with these most probably it's 100 percent certain that these are also going to be able to fire your traditional length darts such as your streamlines elites elite 2.0s waffles and chilies finally we get the actual drum which is the feeding piece for this unit without further ado let's get this bad boy out of the box let's assemble it let's see how it connects with us aesthetically and how it performs all right guys so upon unpacking the blaster we see that the user manual is in color it's pretty descriptive for the most part it lists all the contents you should be getting in here and how to assemble all the basic components of the blaster now i would like to add in that they did miss out a significant part of this instruction manual with the batteries come these two little cowling pieces upon looking at them right away you will be wondering where or how they go these are pretty much drum protector cowlings that go here upon inspecting the blaster i was able to figure it out but the instructions do not say this if you're mildly technically inclined you'll figure out that these are just the drum protector cowling pieces that go here on either side of the blaster otherwise if you try to go by the instruction manual or you try to go online to find some information on this you will not find it so i would like to add that in moving on with the assembly of the blaster hey guys the targets that come with the set are pretty straightforward and easy to assemble you basically grab this impact panel slide it down on the shaft and then you have your collapsible target now these targets will collapse when they're hit by a dart and then you have to manually reset them. Another cool feature that these darts have is that they have a male and female side, which allows for adjoining them like so. It might be a little tight at the beginning. The tolerance is kind of tight, but the fact that you can join them and make like a triple target is kind of nice. For now, let's get these targets together. These pieces are gonna go in with a very confident thump or click. And once they're secured, they're not meant to come back out, but you can remove them if you need to clear some jam that is not accessible by just simply removing the drum. The installation of the drum is quite simple. You need to press this button here, move this forward. You will insert your drum and make sure that this hexagon embossed piece fits well into this female hexagon recess piece. Once it's sitting on that piece, you simply move this lever back and that locks your drum in place. Now we're going to go ahead and install our six AA batteries in the rear compartment. The battery access door is pretty accessible. You can use any size Phillips driver and you have access to install your six AA batteries. <laughs> All right, our batteries have been installed. Let's give her a quick rev and see if she's ready to go. Okay, that is actually a nice RPM pickup and that's a nice quick ascension to the peak level of RPMs for this voltage. I'm actually quite impressed at this double A performance. Let's put some darts into this thing. I did set up a mini range here at my girlfriend's house and we're gonna go ahead and try this blaster. We're gonna do a speed test and then we're gonna do a grouping test. Let's get into it. 
but you do get 100 darts with this blaster. This blaster has a capacity of 30 rounds. Basically, you get about three reloads worth and some change out of this set. I'm going to go ahead and load this blaster, blink at these little targets that came with it, and then we're going to do a grouping and a speed test. Let's get into it, guys. As we load our blaster here, we can tell that the blaster drum moves fairly effortlessly. Loading is quite easy. The darts fit with some decent snugness in their respective barrels. Maybe 40 seconds to a minute to load the entire drum, depending on your speed and dexterity. All right, guys, so I'm shooting at these targets from about a 15 foot distance. At first, we wanna go ahead and blast the targets that came with this blaster, just to see how they look when they're collapsing and how they perform. And then we're gonna do a grouping test with our Nerf Elite target. Let's get to it. All right, guys, looks like the targets collapse, but not entirely because they have a little bit of tension on the joint. Next, we're just gonna check grouping, which judging by the way that this test went, <laughs> I don't have my hopes up. Right, guys, now we're gonna be shooting for the Nerf Elite target, and we're gonna see how many rounds we can land on the target from 15 feet with the big power electric model 505, shooting the standard darts that came with the blaster. Let's get to it. Guys, we have loaded our big 505 with Adventure Force Waffle Head darts, and now we're gonna see how many darts on target we can get with these darts. All right, guys, let's get some crony numbers. We're gonna use waffle head darts, cause let's be frank, if you're not gonna be hitting anything, dart speed doesn't matter. So let's get to it. I really like the big power electric 505. Ergonomically it's great, the build quality is surprisingly good, and the performance is decent for a nine volt alkaline system. I was actually getting shots in the high 70s more often than not. I think those final shots were just hitting the inside of the chronograph. If you guys like this blaster, I put the Amazon purchase link in the description in case you're interested in buying it. I hope you enjoyed this review and please consider subscribing if you'd like. I cover reviews, thrifting, research, testing, and some modding here and there. Till next time, stay blasting foam fam.